homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, it's that time of year. Uh, we've been overly busy doing other stuff, and, and we've kind of let the garden go. Uh, we're about done with our bathroom renovation, and uh, I'll show you a video on that when we get when we get done with it, show you the final product. You've seen bits and pieces here and there as we've gone through the year. This year, we've got to get out here and get our uh, pole beans harvested for seed. Now, we've been harvesting pole beans as the year's gone on, but, but now I want to save some seed. I've got some seed put up, but I want to get some more, especially of our white half runners. And that's what I'm going to start with, but I'll be harvesting pole bean seed from four different varieties today. So I'm just going to take my time and get plenty. And so you can come along for the ride and I'll show you how we string them up in order to uh, save the seed. I want to show you what I'm after. Uh, these would be appropriate bean seeds. It's either white. This will also make a good bean seed. It's full. See, there's some some missing, but it's basically full of bean seeds. It's all right if they're green. It's all right if they're brown, okay? Those are what I'm after. And it's gonna take me a while, so I'll come back to you after I've harvested a bucket full. If I can get a bucket full. If you'll remember, these white half runners, we lost seed to them, and I was lucky enough to just find a bag with a few seeds left in it, and I planted this row, and only 10 or 20 seeds came up, so. I've got 10 or 20 plants down through there to harvest the seeds from. Okay, while you're waiting for me to get these beans harvested, let's have a quick look at the fall garden. Look at these, uh, look at this kale. It's doing really, really well. Okay, as soon as I get a frost, I like kale that's had a frost on it. As soon as we get a frost, which is tonight, we'll start cooking up some kale. But see, interspersed here among the kale, you see what that is? That's carrots. This whole bed is full of them. The carrots came up great. So there's all kinds of carrots in here, in amongst the kale, and then down at that end, there's quite a few carrots too. So we'll be harvesting some carrots out of here, hopefully, if they make. This is uh, October the 15th. So we've still got uh, days till November, and I'd say next week's supposed to be pretty. No freezes in sight, so those carrots will grow good. Now here's our turnips. I'm going to turn one over here. Look at that turnip down in there. Okay. Beautiful turnips. And the bed's beautiful too. Uh, sad to say the rutabagas didn't come up. And neither did the beets. But the turnips have laid it to it, and so's the kale and the carrots. So the fall garden's going okay. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. That is a beet. Right here, those are beets. And they are whoppers. So Crystal's going to get a nice harvest of beets 
Sunday morning. Wow, I didn't think I had any beets came up. That tickles me pretty good. There's a bunch of them out here. So, alrighty then. Okay, I harvested the, the beans. Only the beans that were enough for seed. There were all kinds of other beans still out there. Small ones, medium, but they weren't seedable. So, I just saved, I just harvested the beans that were seed from 11 plants. Let me say that again. I just had 11 white half runner beans plants to come up. This is the seed that I harvested. That's a two and a half gallon bucket. So that's going to give me enough seed. Won't be enough for me to put on the eBay store, but next year I'll have some of these on the eBay store too. But this is why white half runners are so good. If you look at that bean, that's a good, oh, six inches, six and a half. Uh, it has to be it has to be strung, but this is an old heirloom variety. It's not like what you buy at the seed store today. Those are made to be shipped all over the country. This was back before they were shipping them everywhere, when food was growing local. I was, that's why I was so upset when I thought I lost these seed. So I'm going to get these and get them in the house, and I'll show you what to do to save them for seed to put them up. Okay, this is the perfect porch uh, activity. Although this wind's kind of kicking up, and it's 55 degrees out here, so I, I don't know. I might wind up inside. But what you need is just some regular old thread and a big needle. Okay, that's a good size needle. And uh, show you what we're going to do. Let me go ahead and get this threaded, and you don't want to watch that. I'm half blind. Okay, you leave on the, you put the thread on the needle and you leave it doubled. You take one bean, you take one bean, you run it through, okay, and you pull it all the way to the end. And once it's down there, then you just tie this bean on. So that the other beans, as you put them on, can't come off. Make sure you get both threads to come through there in the knot or else it'll come loose. You don't want that. Okay. That bean's held on. And then you just start. I get a handful at a time. And just start. Threading them on the needle. It's not rocket science. But it's something that's easy to do sitting on a porch. Then you hold it up there or else your string will wind up getting tangled. You gotta hold it up and let them go all the way to the bottom. Now I usually let four or five go all the way to the bottom before I start. Now these are sitting all the way on the ground. But like I said, this is a good porch setting activity. So, I'm going to get at that, and then I'll show you the result. Okay, there's what our string of seeds looks like. If you look at it, that's about, hold it up here. That's probably about, I don't know, 30 inches long. Okay, once you do that, then you just break your string off. Then you come up here, and you tie it in a loop. And I'll just use halter hitches. It's no fancy tying strategy here. You tie those in a loop so that they're going to hang up. You can hang them on a nail or whatever. I just got them on my finger. I actually broke the string. It's probably not, may not hold too good. All I've done is tied a loop. And what will happen with these? You can hang them anywhere that it's not going to get wet. For example, you can hang them on your front porch. Uh, if you hang them back close to the house where they're not going to get wet and they'll dry just fine. Uh, you want to hang them where they can't get wet. Now, if you hang them outside, they're going to take a lot longer to dry. 
just the way it is. They'll take a lot longer to dry. Uh, ow, well, I broke that. I'll have to retie that knot. Now, me, what I'm going to do with them is we have a poster bed, uh, a canopy bed, upstairs in uh, one of our spare bedrooms. Well, it's my son's, oldest son's bedroom, but he's grown and gone. Uh, we will take these, hang them three strings to a coat hanger. You know, one of those plastic coat hangers got the little hooks. Uh, we'll hang them three to a coat hanger and hang them on those. And these will take, oh, probably three weeks to dry enough to uh, shell them out for seed. But that's a favored uh, TV watching activity is shelling bean seed. Okay, before we go, this is what I was talking about. See, one of the coat hangers where you can hang three strings at the same time, and then you just hang that up on a nail outside on the porch, or hang them, I'm going to hang them upstairs in our upstairs bedroom. But that's all you do, and those will dry in about three weeks. Now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homesteading stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. If you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing and string up ten more strings of these because that's how much that bucket's going to give me.